This is Inside Video Review Week 17. I'm Greg Barkey from Pro. There were six reviews in the 18 games that made up Week 17, but there was also an incident that should have been reviewed that wasn't. In this edition, we're going to look at a penalty kick review in DC versus Toronto, two handball incidences, one that was reviewed and one that was not, but we'll start with the most talked about review of the weekend, which was this goal in Seattle. Okay, we're checking the challenge. On the field, it looks like nothing. Yeah, I know that, I know that. I, I, I can't tell if he's injured or not, okay? I have, I have a attacker stamping on a keeper's foot. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna recommend the review. Uh, oh, I, okay, he, steps, he steps on his foot, so go ahead and I'll, I'll show you. Okay, so I want you to steward me, right? In real time, first of all. And then I want you to slow it down to the point of contact, okay? Uh, I'll be back to playing the shot. Okay. Okay, slow it down frame by frame, please. Slow it down frame by frame. So right right there, you see it. Right, okay, okay. Stop that now. Just sort of play it through a little bit for me. So to it, when the attacker kicks it, when the attacker kicks it, please. This is a difficult situation for both the referee and the VAR, as it is usually expected that the game be stopped whenever the goalkeeper is down injured and unable to defend their goal. There was a step on the foot of McMath. However, that contact was incidental as part of the challenge as McMath made his save. It would be impossible for the referee in live play to judge whether that contact was sufficient to cause McMath to stay down and be unable to defend his goal. Pro would prefer that the play be stopped with the keeper down injured, but since it did continue, the review is valid. However, in this case, this incidental contact did not rise to the level of a clear and obvious error, and the goal should have been allowed to stand. Let's go to Toronto, where the stoppage time free kick turns into a review for a penalty kick for a handball. There's a call from a handball. I'm, wait, I'm waiting. Hold up, hold up. Right. We're checking. We're checking. <laughs> All right. Yeah, go back. Yeah, go back. Oh, I have not seen any handball. Just checking. Oh, we're 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, checking. Yeah, we're checking. It hits, it hits it the hits hand. It. Hold on. It hits the hand. Hold on. Yeah. Moving away. Let me see the right. Go I'm going to recommend a review. Yeah. 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 Let me see live. Live. Uh, right 18. 18. 18. All right. We're going to check the APP. Let's see the show. Let's just check that. 18. We're checking APP. And I'm gonna recommend a PK, a PK, an on-field review on -field for PK. Throw it down, throw it down, throw it down. Okay, okay. Bring it back slowly, slowly, play it frame by frame. This is the only angle that we have. It's a check on going. This is the best one. This is the best one. You can see the, you can see the. Bring it back, bring it back. Eight. 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 This was a good use of video review because the handball was clear, but hidden from view from the referee. Late in the game between DC and Toronto, there was this incident that resulted in a review. I don't know who's there. Delay. 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 It's just tempo. It's just tempo. Delay because we're checking for a possible PK here. Watch. For uh, number 10, holding. See? Dragging the guy down. Yeah, that's a foul. It's a bit, it's a bit. Yeah, Robert, Robert, I recommend an on field review for a penalty kick. Okay? Number, it's at number 20. Yeah. Alright, uh, give it to me. Okay. Alright, 100% first. Okay. Okay, we're gonna let it play through. Watch the hold right here. Okay. You see it? Okay. It's an excellent penalty. Okay. Is it a caution also? No, no, no. No caution. No, no caution. caution. All right. This was a good review for a penalty kick for holding that was not seen by the referee. However, earlier in that same match, there was this incident that unfortunately did not result in a review. The VAR did check the play, but the referee felt it was just a coming together of two players in the same space. Let's check this one. 100%. I got two players getting together in the same space. So they hey, can go hold the cup, hold yes. the cup. Yes. Yes. Check complete, check complete, gotcha. The VAR agreed with the referee, but on close look, you can see that the DC United player does not play the ball 
and clumsily clatters into the Toronto attacker, knocking him to the ground in what should be a penalty kick. Now let's go to Colorado, where some were calling for a review for a penalty kick for this handball by Colorado's Rosenberry. I have a clear view. He kicks it up to hit his own hand. It's okay. No. It hits his I'm own I'm hand. Checking, I'm checking, I'm checking, I'm checking. Come on, he's checking. He kicks it up and hits his own hand. Yes, I check on the check on If Rosenberry's arm had been outstretched and the ball had hit it directly, it would have been a handball. FIFA and Pro have been instructing for some time now that when a player plays the ball into his own arm, it is not a deliberate handball. This is different than when a player has his arm outstretched as a barrier and the ball deflects or rebounds into it. The referee and the VAR applied these considerations to this play and correctly determined that this was not a clear and obvious error in the non-giving of a penalty kick. It's not a penalty defense. This is Inside Video Review Week 17. I'm Greg Barkey from Pro. For more information about all the reviews of Week 17, you can visit ProReferees.com.